Bighorn sheep, familiar symbols of the Rocky Mountains, have captured the world's imagination since the time of Lewis and Clark. These magnificent animals with massive horns that totally encircle their heads held magical powers for many North American Indian tribes. More than any group, the bighorns were intimately interwoven into the lives of a group of Shoshone Indians known as the Tukudika, or sheep eaters. Living in the high mountains of the Yellowstone Park area, this ancient tribe remained mysterious and elusive. With the introduction of horses by early Spanish explorers, many tribal groups had begun a dramatic evolution. But horses were of little use in the rough, high mountain terrain, so the Sheep Eater Indians maintained their Stone Age customs. They survived in one of the world's most rugged landscapes by chasing and capturing bighorn sheep. A nomadic tribe, they followed their prey's natural migrations and, like the sheep they hunted, these rugged mountaineers lived in small, self-sufficient groups. It's what we call a kin click. Kin being family related blood and click being those people who they liked who were traveling with them. Terminology that was coined by a anthropologist named Carlin Maloof and I think it fits their kind of social organization about as well as anything. They know about the wild sheep. They like to eat that meat, you know. And uh, they always hunted them and, and made traps, made traps to get what they wanted, their meat and they lived on that. And that's the reason they, they gave them that name, because they always stayed there in the mountains. The sheep eaters' natural isolation allowed them to survive as if untouched by time. But this would end when gold was discovered in Montana in the 1860s. The onrush of settlers forever changed the landscape Mines and towns sprang up overnight. Poaching and diseases brought in with domestic animals devastated the wild herds of big game. By the 1870s, the sheep eaters, having lost most of their primary food source, were forced to move onto the reservations where their culture gradually disappeared. Today, archeologists are trying to piece together the fragile remnants of the sheep eater way of life.